Hi guys! Tracy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my June favorites. Again, these are the products that I've been testing out, have enjoyed, and have been using most often for the last month. Last month because this is late, so late upload to us. You have observed, I try my best to upload once every weekday and once every weekend. But last week, wala akong upload for Saturday or Sunday. So I really do apologize, but better late than never, sabi nga nila. So without further ado, let's begin. So I've shared my Althea Korea experience and did a little unboxing on a um, recent video. And I will link it below, so if you haven't checked that out. And I've been testing out the products that I bought from Althea Korea. And I've been loving loving them. Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. This little guy deserves all the hype that it's getting. What I do is I use this twice a week every, as you can see, Tuesday and Saturday. <laughs> so, nilist ako. And this is my step 3 on the routine. Yeah, I do that. Kasi nakakalimutan ko ano ba yung kailangan unahin. So, you are advised to use this once or twice a week. Kasi you can't use this every day because it will definitely hurt your skin exfoliates it just extracts all the um, negative things on your pores and on your skin it just takes out all the dead skin cells and what you feel is just pure freshness pure cleanliness it's amazing your skin mo it would feel very very smooth like baby like a you touch a baby butt it's like that ito it could be harsh so if you rub it off just be careful kasi talagang grainy uh, ramdam mo yung sugar granules dito sa um, formula niya. This is really helping my skin um, in terms of, of exfoliating and um, cleaning my skin. So I am loving this. You guys should get this one. It's I highly recommend it. Next skincare item is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Scrub Foam. This is like a baby of this one. So this, you get um, small granules. Hindi siya kasing laki ng sugar wash off. You get um, very soft very fine granules to just uh, do a little exfoliation in your skin. So if you have sensitive skin or kung madaling masaktan yung um, skin mo, mga exfoliator like this one, this this could be a bit harsh, try this one out. So yung feeling niya, hindi siya kasing fresh noong wash off mask because this is on a different level talaga. This one is just for your everyday exfoliating Routine. Third on my list is this Etude House Wonder Pore Freshener. This is more like a micellar cleansing water. It's not a toner at all for me. This is definitely part of my morning routine. I use this after waking up, first thing in the morning. You remove the sebum, you remove all the oil in your face, and you just feel fresh. And I also use this after I wash my face uh, at night. Para ma remove niyo yung dirt na hindi tanggal nito ating facial wash. And of course, para ma remove yung dirt na mga hindi abot ng facial wash, like yung bato, likod ng tenga. So that's really important. You get into those areas. This is just a no brainer product. You put it on a cotton and just use it. Wala ng anik anik. And this doesn't sting my eyes. Yun ang gusto ko sa kanya. It's really gentle on the eye area. This is the 4D Korea Cleansing Brush. So I feature this on a haul and on my um, night routine. I will do an updated night routine in the pamper routine maybe. This was generously given to me by Rana Strand. So check her shop out. I will link everything below. So this just gently cleanses my skin. Kapag yung skin ko medyo pagod na pagod na sa exfoliating, I just use this and a um, regular, you know, not granulated facial wash. So ito yung ginagamit ko. This effectively removes gentle makeup like um, Simple makeup, like everyday makeup, hindi yung glam makeup. Kasi the bristles are really, really, really soft. I have two nail items. So first is the Sassy Colors Coffee Brown. I can't get enough of this. Two straight weeks ko tong suot. Kasi hindi ako nagsasawang tignan yung nails ko. Hindi mo kailangan bagayan. It's just so good. This is a um, muted brown with a purple undertone on it. It's really a nice color. Just go grab this one. This is worth 20 pesos, guys. Coffee Brown. And this is selling out fast. Pumunta ako sa isang Watson store near our location. Isa na lang yung ganito. Isa na lang siya. And I just want you to try this one out, guys. Coffee brown. Just get it. Get it. And also this one. This is um, Sansan San Nail Polish in the shade uh, Beige. So ito yung suot ko ngayon. I don't know if you can see. But I've been wearing this for a straight 7 days. One week ko na tong suot. And it, I, I get minimal chip off. It's still good. Buo pa yung kanyang color, hindi siya mabilis mag-chip off. The color is, it's like a bridal pink color. I love it. 
it's so beige. Moving on to our makeup items, I have a combination here. So this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and the Maybelline Super BB Cushion. When I reviewed this, you know guys, if you have seen the video, I don't like this. It's it's bad. It doesn't do anything on the longevity of my foundation. It just moves my foundation. The foundation looks very patchy on me when I use this one and it's just bad. So I'm waiting for the right time kung kailan ko ito Then, bought this one. So, this is the Maybelline Super BB Cushion. Again, I have a review on this one. And I just oil up in this. I didn't apply any mattifying primer. So, I became like a grease ball. I oiled up like crazy in that video. And ang daming nang nag-comment na hindi, hindi maganda yung BB Cushion. It's good, guys. You oil up in this product, you blot, and it's it's gone. The oil is gone, but the coverage is there. So don't be afraid to try this one out. And when I used this mattifying primer, it became even better. For some reason, this primer made my oil very controllable. If I may say, hindi ganun karami yung pinaproduce kong oil. Itong, itong primer na to, it doesn't seem to work out on, a, on an equally mattifying foundation. So I... I could really test this out. I really see the result of this product when I use a really glowy, really luminous um, foundation or BB cream. And this is the one. So this is definitely luminous. This is definitely dewy on the skin. And this just mattified it. Not totally mattified, pero na control niya yung aking um, oil production. So really loving this combination. If you have this one and you have this one, try them out together. On to concealer, I have two, of course, you know this, you know, you know, you know this, you know I love this. So this is the Maybelline Instant H Rewind, I won't elaborate on it. But this one, I've been loving also. This is the Etude House Surprise Essence Concealer. Gusto ko dito, it doesn't crease on me. Uh, when you set this with powder, yeah, you definitely have to set this with powder because if you don't set it, it will definitely crease. But when you set this with powder, you're good to go all day. It doesn't crease And it gives me a medium to full coverage. So I am concealing a lot of things right now. And for me, this is effective. I am at the point na concealer lang yun na ko. Like I put a generous amount under my eyes, on my forehead, sides of my nose, and of course things that I need to conceal like pimple marks and all that. And I don't, I, I just skip the foundation. I just skip the BB creams and I just use concealer for a daily routine. So what you get here is a wand that's very unique. So nakikita niyo meron siyang um, ball something jan. And then meron siyang patulis. And this one surprisingly packs many products. So one generous blob in there and this thing packs the product. Hindi mo na kailangan umulit-ulit ng kuha. So another face item, this is the Essence All About Matte. Alam nyo nasa ano ko to, Hates Basket. So as you can see or as you already know, meron akong mga prepared boxes dyan kung saan yun yung kailangan kong i-film next. And this is on my hates basket. Ito yung mga regret buying. Nandun siya sa basket kong yun. And for some reason, I hit pan. Ang ayoko kasi dito, kaya ko siya in-include dun sa aking regrets buying. Kasi, it appears very white on camera. So, kung nakita niyo yung salad box unboxing ko and experience video, again, I will link it below. Kung hindi niyo pa napanood yun, check out niyo yung makeup ko dun, guys. I used this powder. Ganun siya kapote, ganun siya sa kapachi on camera. But off cam, off cam talaga, artista lang ako. Pero yeah, when you're not filming, this is actually a good product. On cam, it appears to be not transparent, not translucent. But when you use this on an everyday basis, it's okay. Like, it does mattify you. I'm just in denial na this is going to be part of my favorites. Kasi nga, ayaw ko siya filming, filming wise. Pero... Yeah, I've been using this a ton. So you have a fluffy brush. Just go swirl it in there and pack it all over and you're good to go. So I've been hauling, not hauling, but I've been buying, I've been buying so many blush, blushes. Do you want me guys to do a haul? Because I, ayoko lang na na-exhaust na kayo sa mga hauls kasi kaka-haul ko lang. But if you want, just co comment below kasi I've been accumulating blushes in particular. So face items. I've been loving this one. This is, um, this is City Color B Matte Blush in the shade Hibiscus. Hibiscus, Hibiscus. And this is what it looks like. It's your, um, it's just a mauve almost brown. It has a brown undertone on it, but it's um, a mauve blush. 
This is the color. So it this formula is a cream to powder formula and it's it's weird. It's so pigmented, it's so blendable. It feels like butter. You need to be very careful with this blush because it could pack a lot of product, but it's blendable for its price. I bought this from VA Cosmetics and it cost me 198. Wala pang 200 pesos, guys. And you get here 8.9 grams. Ganun siya kalaki. Like, this would last you a lifetime. It's good stuff. First, I am enjoying this two again. So, yung ating um, e.l.f. blush palette. I'm sure you've seen this. This is in the shade dark. And what I'm loving in this palette is this peachy, pinkish, orangey shade. You know, I, I, I dwell on this shade. So, ito yung gustong gusto ko dito. I'm just going for a subtle look. Yung hindi masyadong bongga ang eye look mo. Hindi masyadong bongga ang yung lip color. You could try um, the darker shades. So, yun ang perfect time to try the darker shades. Because you don't want a dark something in your cheeks and a bold lips and a bold eyes it's just too much it only shows that these blushes are definitely a must-have if you haven't tried these especially the light shade if you haven't tried this one out you are missing you are missing so down on our lip items again loving the all day bronze of fashion 21 you have heard so much about this thing you know what the local market should do more of this color we need this in our local beauty stores. So this is again in the shade All Day Bronze. If you happen to find this on your local counters, go grab it. Kasi mauubos na siya within that day. Ganun siya kabilis mauubos. I've been asked to do a review on the, not a review, but to try out the Pinkies collection in the shade Bark. I've tried guys. Trust me, I have tried. And it's all, it's gone. Tinatanong ko kung mag-restock ba sila and for some reason, hindi ko talaga mahuli yung kanilang restocking. So, yeah. So sad. But anyway, this is again in the shade All Day Bronze. This is your perfect everyday, perfect everyday shade. My hair is falling out. I ditched the braids. Anyway, on to our next item. This is the Melted Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Melted Chihuahua. First time kong gamitin to dun sa isang, dun sa aking Too Faced review. So, if you've seen that. First time ko siyang ginamit and it's it's good. Yung shade niya is perfect. So, medyo hindi ako bilib sa longevity niya to because it says that it's a long wear lipstick but it's not. Like it, It's like your regular lipstick. It would last you for a good 3 to 4 hour wear pero yeah, it's not that long lasting. So don't expect na para siyang liquid lipstick na mag dry out into matte. But this color is everything. So, if you're pondering of a perfect shade for a pinay skin tone or an Asian skin tone on um, the melted line, go grab this thing. Speaking of pinkish mauvey things, next item is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. So yeah, Soft Spoken. I love this shade. And I love the formula of the suede. I think NYX killed it with the suede formula. Wag yun ang kunin yung lingerie because it's, it's the worst, one of the worst liquid lipstick that I've tried. Skip that one and get the suede. Online, mas mura pa tong suede compared dun sa lingerie line. So, yeah. The formula of this is really long-lasting. It's like your regular liquid lipstick. And it doesn't appear to be patchy on me. Hindi siya ganun ka-drying para sa akin. It's really wearable. So, try the formula out if you're interested. This is going to be my last item for this haul. And this is the Colourpop uh, Lippy Sticks in the... Matte X formula. So they have come out with a Matte X, whole Matte X line. Kasi alam ko, built out nila yung Trust Me. Yun yung naging um, parang introductory item nila. Trust Me and Poppin. So yun yung kanilang first two Matte X um, product. And recently, they've come out with a bunch. So I guess 16 colors yata, and I'm not quite sure. But I got it in the shade Pillow Talk and Kami. Mas matte ito, like this is like, it doesn't have any shine on it minimal shine lang pagka matte niya para sa akin. It doesn't have any shine at all. Kasi yung matte formula ng Color Pop Lippy Sticks is meron pa siyang konting sheen, meron pa siyang konting shine. But this is pure matte. Like, it appears to be really, really matte on your lips. Let's like put it on a MAC concept, MAC lipstick. We have the MAC's um, regular matte formulas and we have the retro matte. This is like the retro matte of Color Pop. Again, the matte X. This up applies smoothly, applies very, very creamy. Like, sobrang creamy, wala siyang tagging. It's like you're applying a, um, 
color pop, lip pencil, ganun siya. Kahapon pumunta kami ng healthy options. Tapos maroon ako nabiling granola snacks. Ang sarap. Hinahalo ko siya sa cereals. So, ito usually ang aking almusal. So, I have this one. This is the Kadya Honey Almond Granola. I love this one. Sobrang sarap niya. Yeah, perfect for... Um, perfect siya pang mix ng cornflakes. And um, nilalagyan ko sila ng raisins. Yan. Usually, naglalagay pa ako ng ano eh. Ng bananas or um, yung dried dried fruits. Sarap. Perfect. Latagdagan ko yung ating rutinary monthly favorites because I'm going to talk about also my non-favorites for the month. Like, um, items that have disappointed me or that just didn't went there. The first off is this Kiss Proof, Minaw Kiss Proof. Now, ito pa naman yung dinoop ko dun sa Kylie Lip Kit, um, Lip Pencil. Kaya medyo dismayado ako kasi right after uploading that video, a viewer commented on my um, yeah, comment section and told me that Ann Clutes, Miss Ann Clutes, recently uploaded a photo or an information on her Facebook page na hindi raw ito FDA approved. If only I knew, hindi ko na siya i-feature. Like, isa scrap off ko na siya dun sa aking, dun sa dupes. I have seen mixed um, comments about uh, this uh, lipsticks. Nasabi ng iba na approved daw to in the US or approved sila elsewhere. Um, sinasabi nila na safe naman daw sila for use kasi um, a matter of facts lang. Kaya hindi sila FDA approved here in the Philippines. But I don't know. If it's not approved here in our country, I don't trust it. Yun. Kahit approved sila sa ibang bansa, for some reason, I don't trust a brand that's not acknowledged here in our country, at least. I am discouraging you guys to buy this one or any Kiss Proof Me Now products. Better safe than sorry. So, huwag na lang natin itry. This is, these are cheap, guys. 90 pesos. Really inexpensive. If you're really on a budget, matatempt ka na bilhin itong mga to. But we have our local market. We have the Ever Belena. We have Nichido Fashion 21. You know, we could entertain our local market. So aside from getting this online, go buy on our department stores. Marami tayong makikita na magagandang shades, magagandang formula out there. Really, really affordable. And yeah, we don't have to risk our beautiful lips and our skin on items that are not approved. So yeah, this is uh, these are really disappointing. This item is, you know, you know, it's going to appear here. This is the NYX lingerie. This is really patchy, really drying. It's hard to get off. It's not, it, it, this just didn't please me. So, if you favorite, nito, it's fine. Go enjoy it. Yun lang sa akin talaga hindi siya nag work out. Uh, pretty much yun yung mga items na enjoy ko for this month and yung medyo mga disappointing. But yeah, you know what to do, guys. Comment below if you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions. Also, you can um, send a DM on my Instagram or Facebook. Uh, maraming nag DM sa akin and I make a point. And I make sure na nare-replyan ko rin sila doon. So yeah, don't forget to like this video so I'll know if you are very much into this kind of videos. And comment below again. Again, kung gusto niyo gawa ako ng haul dun sa mga blushes na accumulate ko and all other stuff, comment it also below. Kasi baka masyadong na-fed up na kayo sa mga hauls. And yeah, I just don't want that. So yeah, don't forget to comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Sana nakasubscribe ka na so you'll get notified if I upload another video. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you so much for your time. It's really well appreciated. See you on my next video. Always remember, be beautiful. Be you. Bye!